the late 90s, my sister gave me this piece of advice. Always be yourself. Pretty solid words of wisdom, right? To this day, I carry that advice with me no matter what. Time to think of it. A lot of people do have those thoughts in mind. Whenever we are around each other, that's how we should be. You know, acting as ourselves. Ever since she told me that in the late 90s, turned out to be some of the most useful advice in my entire life. And it happened at a time where it would be most beneficial. <laughs> at the time, I remember I was just a teenage, you know, starting junior high school. And some of you well, I'll probably remember what that, uh, those, that was like, you know, the, some of the typical type of situations you get into that a bit of the social pressure to find where you belong the all the little groups that you have in in school um the, <laughs> the hormones that you're going through and chances are you're driving your parents you no know, crazy because you're a teenager you're not going to be an, an angel at that time but there's also going to be your ups and downs in in school there were and don't get me wrong there were a lot of good times in school i remember i was playing the trombone in my school band and enjoy, enjoyed it quite a bit and and also, of course, went to a few house parties. Things in general that I had started to notice, I'd say around grade eight, that started to get under my skin. And it was when people were starting to question how I am and were asking me to change my ways literally changing who I was because I'm not sitting the typical type of the guy they would see like they because I'm this black guy that was born in a small town in Quebec you know I don't I wouldn't at the time, I still had the, the, the strong uh, French accent. I didn't, I wasn't, you know, the, the greatest guy at basketball. In fact, I was a, no, I was a swimmer. Shocker, I know. And, you know, I, and, and I didn't dress up like any, I didn't dress up like, the tip, any typical, any celebrity that you would see. And I'll see, I was not dressing up like a rapper. I wasn't dressing up like anything that one you would see on MTV. Uh, no, it, it's just, it wasn't uh, my, who I was. And also I was just dressing up with the clothes that my parents would be able to the, the, be, they be, a, be able to afford to buy me like I didn't want to try to be someone that I was not like could you imagine some, uh, me walking into a school pretending to, the, the all of a sudden I pretend that you know I the, the, I talk like I'm 
from Queens or I'm from Compton. When, in fact, I never even uh, live uh, there. That's just ridiculous. And remember that saying, always be yourself? Or you know, that, that, the advice that my sister said? You know, there's, you know, there's also the old say, the saying from ha uh, Shakespeare's Hamlet, to thine own self be true. You know, the always, you know, to, you know, be you, be yourself, be true. The, uh, again, another saying showing how being yourself, being honest is a great virtue. I refuse to assimilate to these demands. And as a result, to really prove my point, I made it uh, clear, you know, like not, Every black people is dressed is actually some basketball player, some football player, some singer, some rapper. That's a stereotype that you have in your head. But even my mate, I prove my point. I would actually actually shave my head because at one point they were telling me, "Oh, get some cornrows, or oh, get some, get your hair platinum like Cisco." No, I or grow an afro. No. So I shaved my head over the weekend one day and yeah, came to school. I don't know how many slaps upside the head I got or even getting my school bag thrown down the flight of stairs. And before you even take a uh, moment. I don't feel horrible for me because I it's I survived all, all of this. I want you to understand. I'm that I it built resiliency. You know, like I didn't. No, no, I, all I did was just I stayed true to my uh, core. I'm. I didn't change my ways, all to try to fit in. I. I stay true to who I am. You know this black kid, who was for just a bit of time a, a swimmer, loved this his hip hop music, loved his R and B, uh, uh, and so uh, music. You know, I uh, just dressed up in. Like the nice clothes that my family could afford. And I was just being myself. Because I didn't like remember, the, like, what if I came in and just told a big lie and was caught? And then I would be exposed over and over again. But along the years, also found out that I discovered things about myself, like, like even just desire for traveling, for adventure, or even the the val what I value, or what is my my personality. For example, goofing you know, around. I've had that sometimes just making jokes and that is a best way to get you know, through through people or adventure. Having a monotone laugh, having a monotone life, it's just no way to be. Sometimes you need to have adventure. You need to explore. You cannot be complacent. Everyone has a different passion. You know, like what is your value? What is your mission? What is your purpose? Like, how do you live your truth? How are you being genuine and authentic? And that's what led me to this podcast. Some people actually are being that way 
uh, living through through being volunteers. Some do it through a self healing journey. Everyone is being authentic through their own ways. As I as I'm speaking to you right now, you might even be asking that question. What am I passionate about? What, how am I being authentic? Perhaps this podcast will start conversations with you on ways that you can be authentic and you can start conversations. And each week, I'm going to have a guest, or if not, it will be just me telling different ways and different truths on, on life. And I really hope that it'll stir the conversation, stirring conversations. We need to have more of these like a dialogue. I'm really excited to have this podcast started and that through this means of communication, people will be able to discover ways to be authentic and genuine. That being said, I thank you for listening. I hope and I hope that you'll be coming back for more. Until uh, next time, stay true. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and like and you'll keep up to date with the content on my channel.